This video is for those who gets in confusion to prove that one coulomb one coulomb equals to three into ten to the power nine ESU. What coulomb is the unit of charge in SI unit system, whereas ESU is the unit of charge in CGS unit system. To prove this equality, we consider that we we have two point charges, both of Q coulomb, Q coulomb separated by distance, separated by distance r meter in vacuum. So the force force between these two point charges uh, in SI unit system will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square upon r square newton this this is according to uh, coulomb's law as we already know this uh, also suppose that also suppose suppose that that q coulomb Q Coulomb equals to Q Coulomb equals to X E S U. So this diagram can all alternatively written as instead of Q Coulomb we are writing here X E S U. The another charge is also instead of Q Coulomb we are writing ESU and the separation in between them is R meter that means 100 R centimeter so the force between these two point charges in CGS unit system is F CGS equals to X square upon 100 R whole square dine now we can write we can write f si equals to f cgs this fact can be understood with an easy example suppose that there there have some some quantity of rice say it is 3 kilogram rice this quantity of rice can also be written equally as 3000 gram rice so we know already this that 3 kilogram rice equals to 3 gram of rice so here only the measurement unit system is different the quantity of rice is same here similarly we are finding the force between the two point charges in same condition only the measurement uh, unit system is different in this section we have find the force in SI unit system whereas in this section we have find the force between these two same point charges separated by same distance in CGS unit system. So these two forces are equal. Now we can write 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square upon r square newton equals to FCGS. FCGS means x square upon 100 r whole square dine we know the value of 1 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught equals to 9 into 10 to the power 9 q square upon r square remains as it is and here it is 1 newton 1 newton can be replaced as 10 to the power 5 dine equals to x square upon 10 to the power 4 
r square dyne 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 gets cancelled here also r square and r square now we get 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power 5 this 10 to the power 4 comes q square equals to x square so x square equals to 9 into 10 to the power 9 plus 5 14 plus 4 10 to the power 18 q square therefore therefore x equals to 3 into 10 to the power 9 q if we put q equals to 1 if we take q equals to 1 then then x equals to from this equation take this equation as equation number 2 and from this equation we get for q equals to 1 x equals to 3 into 10 to the power 9 now come back to the equation number 1 let's this is equation number 1 we have suppose that q coulomb equals to x asu now if q equals to 1 then then this becomes 1 coulomb 1 coulomb equals to when q q is 1 then x is 3 into 10 to the power 9 we will put here the value of x here 3 into 10 to the power 9 and e is u so it has been easily proved that that 1 coulomb 1 coulomb equals to 3 into 10 to the power 9 e s u this equality can also be proved if we put these two point charges in any other medium rather than vacuum medium suppose we have put these two point charges in water medium the force will get uh, reduced to 1 by k times where k is the dielectric constant of water uh, and also in CGS unit system the force will reduce to 1 by k times that means here here if we take water then then this force will reduce to 1 by k times also this one 2 so the final result will will be will be unaltered and we will reach to the same conclusion that means that means 1 coulomb each equals to 3 into 10 to the power 9 esu this is all for this lesson if you have any question then you may ask me in the comment section